I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Gavin Lloyden, the Managing Director for QEM. Gavin, it's great to see you again. How are you? Great. Thanks, Shay. Great to see you again. Now, I'm so glad you've had the time to jump on because coming up is something called the VFB 40th Anniversary Symposium. Uh, I know it's going to be held in Sydney, but uh, tell me, what is it for everybody who doesn't know what that means? Sure. Well, this is a, a, a celebration of the uh, uh, of the vanadium flow battery um, invention, which was uh, back in 1984. Uh, at the University of New South Wales, uh, I think I may have mentioned before, but Professor Maria Skylos Kazakos is the uh, the inventor in de- uh, of the uh, v- VFB, uh, along with her team, of course. Uh, and yeah, uh, people seem to still think it's a, a novel and new technology, but no, forty years, twenty years of commercialisation. Uh, yeah, fantastic uh, project, and and. Maria is a fantastic person. She's uh, done a supreme job and still works there now. In fact, the, you know, one of the first batteries is at the University of New South Wales. That's incredible. Uh, now, looking at the lineup, it actually sounds like this is very much a pro vanadium within Australia conversation around the emerging, well, the emerging vanadium flow battery technology. Does that sound right to you? Yeah, no, I, that's absolutely true. So it's now about um, you know pushing this industry forward. So. Uh, the symposium will, will have you know researchers, government, other stakeholders, um, uh, developers, project developers, and bat- and battery developers. Uh, so it's all about now taking that you know that very forward step and, and pushing VRBs uh, and their prominence and the and the understanding of those systems into the market. Uh, now, for everybody who hasn't heard of a vanadium flow battery or VFBs, what actually are they? Well, they're, they're large uh, static batteries, uh, very useful for the grid. So they have a number of functions there, load levelling, uh, uh, you know, uh, system management, uh, as well as having you know, direct off-grid applications as well because they're large static batteries. They'll hold their, uh, their, their charge for very, very long periods of time, almost endlessly cyclable because you've got two tanks of vanadium uh, electrolyte at, at, at different um, ionic phases, and they will actually keep cycling for decades, decades without the loss of of, of any of that capacity. Um, you know, twenty to thirty years is what we're talking about here. Uh, there was recently Maria's one of Maria's batteries, fifteen years old, was just you know pulled down, had a look at, looked at the uh, the electrolyte and how that had performed, and you know less than 1% degradation over that period of time. Uh, and they, and the, the belief is that you'd have less than 1% over 30 years. So they don't, deg- uh, they don't degrade uh, and they basically go for extremely long periods of time. They're simply managed. Um, as I say, they're, they're large scale batteries, uh, but they're well suited to Australian conditions. So they'll operate you know, up 50 degrees plus down to, uh, to your minuses. Um, most ba- other battery systems can't handle that, then you will lose capacity at, at either end of those extremes. Mm. Um, and they're safe, so there's not much chance of catching on fire. There's very little heat uh, heat generation. And, of course, they're, they're, they're liquid batteries, so they physically can't catch on fire. So, uh, and, and I think that's very, very important given some of the uh, recent episodes that we've had with, with lithium batteries and, uh, and lithium fires and... I uh, saw a report last night on the news saying that uh, the fire department's going to them on a daily basis just here in Queensland. So I assume that's uh, happening nationally as well. So mind you, that is for smaller scale applications. The larger scale ones are, are a little bit better, but nevertheless, uh, there is that safety element to them, uh, which is not the case with vanadium flow batteries. We've got plenty of vanadium here in Australia and we can take that uh, vanadium right through to battery production and, uh, and, and keep all that value chain here in Australia. I'm so glad you mentioned plenty of that vanadium here in Australia. And just bear with me for a moment. Now, I've been uh, covering the mining sector for a very long period of time, but this is the first year that I've really had any meaningful conversations around vanadium and its uses. Tell me, are there any uh, vanadium sites that are operational, so as in producing vanadium within Australia? Well, absolutely. Uh, Well, there's no actual vanadium production uh, currently, but there has been some battery rollout. uh, so the, the the largest one that was commissioned recently was down in Yadamolka in South Australia, which is near Port Pirie, um, and that's a two megawatt, eight megawatt hour facility. Um, 
that's the largest one in Australia at the moment. There are some smaller units around, uh, you know, the 250 kilowatt state, uh, uh, scale, um, including at the University of New South Wales, of course. Um, but we're starting to see that prominence. The, the issue with vanadium batteries, um, if it's an issue at all, is you need to be close to the source of vanadium because once you've turned it into this electrolyte, you're then shipping around bulk commodities of, of, of liquid. Uh, so there's a tyranny of distance to that, um, a battery limit, <laughs> if you forgive the pun, um, how far you can take this stuff once you've turned it into electrolyte. So shipping it overseas is not, not the best option, that's for sure. Uh, so that's why we're having electrolyte plants built here in Australia. There's one in Western Australia uh, at the moment and, and one up here in Queensland. I'm sure there'll be a few more as we move forward. Okay, so unfortunately I've run out of time today, but I will absolutely have to get you back on because we're going to need to talk about what these electrolyte plants are and how they will help uh, fill in parts of the energy grid using vanadium going forward. Uh, listen, Gavin, thank you so much for being here. This has been super informative for me. And also, too, have a fabulous time at the uh, 40th VFP Anniversary Symposium. Uh, it sounds like a fantastic Australian invention. And um, I hope everybody there has a great time. Oh, I look forward to it myself. It should be good. I uh, am doing a bit of a keynote presentation there. So anyone wants to pop along? Should be good. Uh, for everybody who wants to come along, I will actually find a link to the event to pop it in the bio of today's conversation. Gavin, thank you so much for being here. This has been great. Thanks again, Shay. Always a pleasure.